We're here at Leak Street near Waterloo in central London. It's one of my favourite places to shoot portraits because we have all of this lovely and fantastic graffiti. It's a super atmospheric location. One of the challenges of working here though is that there is very little light as you can see. And one of the best ways to overcome that is by using some off-camera flash. So what I'm going to do is show you some really simple techniques where you can mix the available ambient light that is here with some off-camera flash to create some really good atmospheric portraits. So I've set up a really simple one light setup here which I'm going to now use to shoot some portraits of Natasha. Having the one flash gives me the flexibility to light Natasha separately from the background. So I can first of all get an exposure of the background and using the ambient light to create an exposure to make that look exactly how I want it to. Then independently I can use the flash to light Natasha to make her look as well lit as I wanted to do. So my first step is going to be to create an exposure without any flash at all to make the background look exactly how I want it to look in terms of exposure. I will I understand that in that shot Natasha will be underexposed because she doesn't have enough light on her but then my second step will be to stick with those settings in the camera but turn the flash on and adjust the power of the flash to get a perfect exposure on Natasha. What won't happen is the flash will not light the background because it's so far away. The flash will only light Natasha. So the light that's coming into the camera from the ambient exposure is from the light that's already here in the tunnel right now and the flash will provide that quick burst of light which will only, lit, which will only light subject which is close to the camera. So first I'm going to get ambient exposure and just get my camera set up so that I know how the background is going to look in my shot. So I'm going to do that first. So the, I've got a trigger on my camera which is going to trigger my light. I'm going to turn that off first of all and I want to make the background look reasonably dark, a few stops underexposed. So I'm going to take a few test shots until I'm happy with the look of the background in the shot. So I'm going to start at f2.8 and ISO 1600 because it's quite dark down here and I'm going to go for an 80th of a second I'm going to see how that looks first of all. Okay so that's still a little bit too bright in the background so I'm going to bring the ISO down to 800 or maybe even 400 so and take that shot. Okay, and that's looking good. So I like the look of the background in that shot, but because there's not enough light on Natasha, I'm going to need some light to get her correctly exposed. So what I will do now is I'll keep those settings in my camera, which were an 80 of a second, F2.8 and ISO 400, and I will introduce some light from the flash at a low power to see how the exposure looks, and then I'll adjust it from there. So I'm not gonna change my camera settings again, I'm just going to change the flash power. So I'm gonna... Stick my, I'm going to turn my trigger on and I'm going to start out, so the flash at the moment is on manual power settings so I'm going to start at 1 over 128 power for the flash which is the lowest power setting and I'm going to take a test shot with that, let's just check that the flash works, yep so it's going to fire so everything has stayed the same my camera and the flash is at 1 128 power so I'm going to try now a shot with ambient light the same but with the flash now introduced and the flash is going to look just at light there perfect shot. Yeah, it's, it's really well exposed, so just look straight. Let me just take a little step that way. Yeah, I'm really so it turns out that at that lowest power setting, 1 over 128 power of the flash, I actually got some really nice exposures where the exposure of Natasha was perfectly balanced with the exposure from the flash. So I'm really happy with that and I got some nice shots quite quickly. So what I want to do next is an image where I actually make the background really dark and then use the flash to make Natasha stand out against the very dark background. So I'm going to change, again I'm going to turn off the flash trigger and first of all get an ambient exposure just of the background but I'm going to aim to make it much darker this time. So at the moment I'm on an 80th of a second f2.8 and ISO 400 so first off I'll bring the ISO down to 100 and then I will make the aperture smaller. So let's go for 5.6. And then let's do a test shot just to see how the background looks. So 
So yeah, so now the background is almost completely dark. I can just see some little highlights in there, but more or less we have a pretty dark background. So if I keep these camera settings as they are, and I'm just gonna put the flash on again now at the same power as it was before, which is one over 128. I know because my aperture is now smaller and my ISO is lower that the flash is not going to be powerful enough to get the shot. So I'm going to do that anyway and show you. Yeah, so the flash, as you can see, shows us a little bit of light. So what I can see from that shot is I'm gonna keep all my settings the same and all I want to do is brighten the light on Natasha. So I'm going to do that by increasing the power of the flash. So at the moment we're on one over 128 power. I will now turn that up to, let's go for 32, one over 32. So that's two stop increase exposure in the flash exposure and take another shot, see how that looks. Yeah, and we're pretty much there. So a simple one light shot, just by quickly increasing the flash exposure by two stops, I've managed to get there again and get Natasha critically exposed at this time against a very dark background. Perfect. So yeah, so that shows how quickly it is to work out your flash exposure and mixing it with the ambient light. The first step, in my opinion, is always to get the ambient exposure correct first. So turn off your flash, work out what settings you need in your camera to get the ambient exposure correct, and then introduce the flash, adjust the flash power to match the settings in your camera so that then you adjust your flash power to get the exposure correct on the person you're shooting. So that's a really simple way to create great portraits using off-camera flash. First, forget about the flash and just set your camera up to get the ambient exposure how you want it to do. Decide whether you want the background to be light or dark. Get the settings, get the settings in your camera and then don't change them. Then use the flash just to light your subject. But don't change your camera settings, only change the flash power until you get the right amount of light from the flash on your subject to make the shot look exactly how you want it to look.